Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drone. So today we're going to have a look at the DJI Osmo Pocket. There's been hundreds of reviews. This isn't really a review. This is going to say, tell you just what I think about it and how I get on with it and how I'm using it now. So I wasn't going to buy this. That's why I bought the GoPro camera. But the lure of buying it was too too great for me, to be honest. So I bought this to use. So I use a hat cam at the minute, but I'm actually going to use this from now on to record my, vid my footage when I'm outside and I'm recording the drone in the air. Just so I can get 4K, but I can also get a stabilised picture. Just so I can have a, nice, a nicer finish on the 60 frames per second on the video. So, you've all seen this. It comes in this case. And this is the item itself. It is tiny. Single button to turn it on. And then you can see, as it turns on... Let me just... You've probably all seen this, but let me show you the screen. The screen is actually usable i thought before i bought this that the screen wouldn't be usable but it is but yeah i do it's really nice as a screen actually to use so i love its portability it has certain things like sometimes every now and then i turn it on it's the gimbal sticks but i think that's just what happens with modern technology to be honest but it's a rare thing the menu is easy enough to use you can just slide up and down to get to your different menus and it really is nice to use I thought this. I thought the screen would be the biggest issue I had with this. I thought I might find it difficult to use the screen, but as you can see on the screen, you've got different modes on here. So you've got on here. You've got you change it to camera. This is where I can adjust my gimbal to how I want it to work. Whether I want it on follow mode, gimbal tilt lock, FPV mode. I haven't really found which one I prefer. I just mess around and see which one I like after I've been playing with it for a little bit. And here, if you can slow your your follow down. So you've got fast follow and slow follow. But it really is a joy to set up. You've got your settings button here so you can adjust your resolution and everything of your camera. Now this has had the updates done. So originally, apparently I didn't have one then, but it had an issue with the fact that it wouldn't focus quick enough. The pulse focus was pulsing in and out. So this has had the update done for that when I first got it and it seems to have fixed that issue. But the biggest issue I had, and the, what I didn't really like about these, was I had to connect this up to my phone if I wanted to use it on a phone. Now, if I want to put this on my head and get the line of my shots up and make sure I've got everything in focus, I can't stick the phone in my head. And you can buy a Wi-Fi module that plugs in the back. But you get, again, it's another 50 quid, and it's not going to fit on a hat cam. But, I presume most people know this, but you can. So this is a USB-C OTG cable. You just plug it in the bottom. As you would the normal charger and then i've got a lightning cable plugged into the other end of it and if i plug that into my phone and i open my phone up unlock my phone it'll automatically open the program with the phone my phone was locked unfortunately so let's plug it in and it's going to open the app up and it's going to give me a view so i can do everything i could do by plugging the phone into the side now that for me is a massive advantage because Without that, I was going to struggle doing what I wanted to do with it. So you just need a simple USB OTG cable. Now people are probably thinking, well, it's just easy to stick the phone inside. Yeah, it is for what, I suppose, if you want to walk around with it. But even then, I still prefer to do this if I'm walking around, to be honest. If, it depends where I am, obviously. If I'm in the middle of London filming on the streets, I'd probably want to just put the phone in. But that's not what I bought it for. And I like the fact that this is now separate. I don't, I presume most people know that, but if you didn't, that's what you need to do. So yeah, I bought it for a different reason. And I've also bought it for some stuff I'm going to do in the summer that you'll see the videos for when I do them. And I wanted something portable I could walk around with easily. And there was nothing wrong with it using the GoPro camera, but like I said, I couldn't resist this. <laughs> I love technology, as you probably can be, as you're probably all aware. I'm running a 64 gig card on here, and if you run it, in 60 if you're running it in 4k 60 you're probably going to get about an hour and 10 hour and 20 minutes video recording on that that's all so you might want to do a lot of the resolution down i'm happy with that i'm just going to i've just got a couple of cards that i can swap in and out when i want to you can you can get accessories for this because it needs some so the built-in microphone which isn't the best but it is actually better than i thought it was going to be you can buy an adapter that plugs in here to allow you to plug in an external mic but yet again it's expensive everything seems to be so i'm going to use this on what it is 
just as it is i don't intend to buy the bit for the bottom because once again you're getting up it's a typical ddi thing add-ons of add-ons now the other thing is i've had to update this twice since i got it i don't know how many updates i've been for it but uh, i got it on tuesday last week i did the update when i first got it and then i had to do an update on saturday so following on from dji it seems to have a lot of updates as well like i say i'm not going to go through all the settings on this there's loads of videos about on this the, the video i wanted to show you was just to show you what i'm going to do with it and what i think about it and i absolutely love the thing I, I do absolutely love it i think it's fantastic the image quality which you're going to see in the video i've got coming up is absolutely amazing so the video you're going to see coming up that i've recorded is about four minutes long and it's real world footage so i haven't gone skiing in the south of france or austria I've gone ski. I've gone just in the walking up the street to show you what it looks like, and I've gone to a church to film what the graveyard looks like, and you can see the clarity of the grave to see what the what what it looks like if you close up to something. Can you read the writing really well? And there's also some, some cows in a field that are filmed because this is more like real world footage. It was filmed on a really nice day. To be honest with you, it was a really nice day. There's no filters on this yet. I will buy a filter kit for it because it's the one thing you're going to have to buy for it. And I am tempted. I want to watch a few more reviews, but you can get a wide angle lens for it that I am very tempted to get. Because the wide angle lens I think would be better for what I want to use it for. But again, that's something I'm looking into and I haven't got that yet. So yeah, the footage you're going to see is really what I think most people in the UK are going to get out of it. It, we don't live in the middle of Miami or we don't live in a place where we've got loads of snow it's good everything looks great when you do snow footage this thing looks great in real world and that's what I wanted it for and that's a bit that concerned me because every video I've watched I've seen very few people that are just done real world filming what was it like walking up and down a street what was it like just filming it on a field because that's what I'm going to be using it for but yeah so I, I do recommend this it's expensive the one tip is I bought this from Drones Direct in Huddersfield and I got it for £287 because this is the Grade A1. Now I can't tell you what the difference is because I've watched unboxing videos and mine came exactly the same. The box was sealed fully, everything was exactly as it should be and there wasn't a mark on this. So I don't know what the difference is but £287 quid is quite a saving from the 329 So yeah, do I recommend it? Yes. Is it expensive? Yes. But for what you're getting, I suppose, it's decent because this essentially is what you're getting. The camera reminds me of some, what's on the Mavic Air, but obviously we are 60 frames per second. So enjoy the video that's coming up. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think it's worth it? Do you think the video looks good? I really do, but like I say, this isn't a review. There's too many people done them. I'm not going to sit here and do a 20 minute review on something that everybody's done to death. And people will know far more about this thing because they're far more into photography and cinematography than I am I got it and I'm only giving you my view on what I want to use it for so thanks ever so much for watching you've had a fantastic day